When you are living in a big city, transportation and moving around is always a big problem. You have a choice between public transport, crowded buses and subway, also called the metro, or being stuck in a traffic jam in your car. Both options are not suitable for me. That's why I decided to build my own custom e-bike. At the first glance it looks like a regular e-bike, but trust me, it hides some pretty unusual features that might surprise you. I will give you a few hints. Number 1. My e-bike doesn't have a chain at all. Number 2. It has a powerful 1500 watt motor and a high capacity battery. Number 3. It has turning lights and a pretty loud horn. Guys, I hope you got the idea, this is not a regular e-bike. This is a custom made crazy speed bike that I tuned to my particular usage as my daily driver. In this video, I will show you how I built this cool city bike, I will give you links to all parts and I will show you how to build this kind of e-bikes by yourself. I will also show you how much faster and how much fun it is to use this e-bike than using public transport or a private car. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So the first thing to know, I always wanted to have a motorcycle but still be able to use bicycle infrastructure, so I had to build something in between, an e-bike that can ride as fast as a regular motorbike or a car. I decided to build this e-bike because anyway, the bicycle is my main means of transport in my city and I just don't want to lose my precious lifetime waiting for my metro or being stuck in a traffic jam. Sometimes I need to go somewhere really fast and be there like in 20 minutes. For this purpose, I have this crazy e-bike that I called the Riverside 1500E. By the way, I already own one e-bike, Riverside 500E, but throughout the years I understood that I need something more serious and especially I don't want to pedal anymore. I just want to press the acceleration throttle like on a scooter and go right to my destination. It's not about being lazy, it's about being on time. Of course, I'm not driving fast every day. Usually I'm riding like a regular e-bike and I'm always respecting traffic rules. I'm not crazy, I have only one life and I don't want to mess up with the police. But sometimes, on a Sunday morning, I can ride a little bit faster than usual when the conditions are good. So my e-bike construction is pretty simple. Basically, I just bought a regular bicycle from the Decathlon store for 300 euros, I added 1500 watt motor and a 48 volt battery. Also I added a bunch of safety accessories, as simple as that. So let's look closer at my e-bike and check all its quirks and features. So I decided to remove the chain as I found this element pretty useless since I'm using only the motor power to drive. I replaced the standard rear wheel with the motor wheel. This bike is pretty heavy but it's still lighter than a motorcycle, so I had to install two crutches to support the weight of the bike, otherwise it may fall. I also replaced the fork with a custom one which allows me to adapt its comfort to different conditions. The battery is hidden in the trunk compartment and all electronic components are as well. At a first glance it looks almost like a regular bicycle, but it is not. That was actually my main goal. I didn't want to attract too much attention. The controller and LCD screen were sold together with the motor, so I was 100% sure that they will work once connected. A 48 volt high capacity battery gives me around 50 to 70 kilometers or 38 miles on a single charge. Note that I am not assisting my bike with my legs, I am riding just by using the motor power. It takes up to 6 hours to fully charge the battery from 0 to 100%. And I suppose with pedal assist you can go up to 100 km of distance on a single charge. That's around 62 miles in the US standard. It is super easy to connect all electronics together. You just have to follow the instructions which are shipped with your e-motor and controller. It's really hard to connect the wrong wires as they have different connectors and colors. Just follow the instructions and match the color of each wire. Please be aware that you have to choose the right wheel size. It can go from 26 up to 29 inches. Make sure to check your wheel size before buying your motor. 
You can buy a front or rear wheel motor, it's up to you. This is actually a front motor that I have here, but I decided to install it on my rear wheel because unfortunately I had a little accident, let's say. I will tell you more about that later in this video. Optionally, you can add rear and front lights and basically that's all you have to do to be able to create your own custom e-bike. You can add different accessories and personalize the bike to your own wishes. For example, I added two rear mirrors, turning lights and a big basket to transport my groceries or any other stuff. I need to have a big trunk compartment because I'm often transporting something. Once I even transported a table from the IKEA store. I will leave the link in the description of this video for all parts I bought for this specific e-bike so you will be able to check them out and purchase if you are interested. But before talking about the price of this e-bike and every component of it, I want to show you a speed test from 0 to 50 to demonstrate the power of this motor. Note that it can go up to 75 km per hour, but it was too dangerous to ride so fast in Paris, so I limited my maximum speed for safety reasons. city conditions I can ride much faster than cars. Of course it depends but actually when there is a traffic jam I'm always faster than any other car or motorcycle. Mainly because on a bicycle you are allowed to ride on a red light in Paris. You can use bike lanes, you can sometimes ride on a sidewalk, of course don't forget to respect pedestrians. You know with the e-bike you are more flexible, you can be a bicycle but if needed you can be a powerful motorcycle and push like crazy if you're late on your meeting. The total price of this project is around 1250 euros, bicycle price 300 euros, motor LCD and controller price 300 euros, battery price 450 euros, optional accessories, basket, lights, mirrors, etc. 200. So the most expensive part is the battery and by the way I purchased not the most expensive one. It depends on the capacity. The more capacity you want to have, the more expensive it will cost you. Please be aware that very high capacity batteries are also heavier, so take this into consideration when building your e-bike. The bigger your battery is, the more juice you will have. 
While purchasing the battery, you should not just look for its capacity, but also for a maximum tension of 24 or 48 or even 52 volts. It depends on the motor you will choose. For my 1500 watt motor, I need at least 48 volt battery. You can buy different forms of it, it can be triangular or rectangular, again, everything depends on your configuration and your personal needs. Usually, the charger for the battery is shipped inside the box as well. How to choose the motor? There are two types of motor, wheel motor and pedal assist motor. Wheel motors are cheaper and easier to install, so I always prefer this option. How to choose the controller and LCD? Usually the controller and the LCD display are sold together with the motor. It's better to buy these components in a single pack because you are pretty much sure that everything will work together without additional problems. Usually it is even cheaper to buy things together. How to choose your base bike? If you are buying a new bicycle, I encourage you to prefer solid bikes like mountain style bikes or some heavy duty style bicycles. Don't buy too expensive models, try to choose the simplest model you can find. It will be easier then to modify and customize it. But again, it's up to you what style of bike you prefer. How to build? Step by step instruction. Step number one. You need to have a bike that you will use as a base for your future e-bike project. If you already own a bike, you can use it as well. So if you already have a bicycle, things are a bit easier for you. Try to make sure that your bicycle has good brakes and it is in good condition. Step number two. Purchase three main components, wheel, motor, controller and battery. Once you will have all the necessary parts, you will be able to start building things. I will leave a link in the description of this video for all parts I used in my video. I purchased them in China as it was cheaper than buying them in France. Step number 3. Replace the front or rear wheel of your standard bicycle with the motor wheel. Usually this process is pretty simple. Just pull out your old wheel and put back your new one. The complexity of this task depends on your bicycle, but usually it takes from 10 to 15 minutes. Step number 4. Install the battery. You can put the battery inside the frame or hide it in your basket or bike bags. It's up to you. Again, it depends on your bicycle configuration, so even before buying your battery, think about the place where you will install it. Step number 5. Connect your controller, LCD screen, motor and battery all together. The controller is the brain of your e-bike. It is very important to respect the instructions and connect the correct cables in the correct order. Usually Chinese controllers are all the same style. In case you will not have the instruction, I will put a photo of my own cabling so it will help you to connect things properly. Just be patient and don't be scared. It looks like a super difficult thing to do, especially when you see all these cables for the first time, but once you will understand how it works, you will be able to connect them even with closed eyes. You don't have to connect all cables. For example, I decided not to use braking sensors and leg pressure sensors. As I am only using the throttle to control my acceleration, I just don't use all connectors and sensors. The key installation is the motor and the battery, and the screen of course. All the other components are optional. I had an accident on this e-bike, unfortunately. As I mentioned earlier, I had a little bike crash a few months ago. I installed the motor in my bicycle fork and unfortunately it broke down. So make sure all parts are matching together before riding fast. And don't forget about the helmet and the safety things, you know, you have only one life. 
When you are living in a big city, you should always protect your bicycle from theft. I made a separate video on that topic, so check it out if you are interested. This topic is very important and you should never save your money on safety and security. Check it out, it's super important, especially for e-bike owners. Thanks for watching, if you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube, bye bye.